Hey everyone, my name is Paul and in this tutorial I will demonstrate how you can install a WordPress website onto your own web hosting provider. In this case I'll be using GoDaddy to install WordPress into my site vetcdm.com. So the first step is to use a web hosting service like GoDaddy or Crazy Domains to register a domain name and web hosting service and this will enable you to access the cPanel from there you can create the uh, database and install WordPress. So we'll start over there. If I go to godaddy.com and if I access my account, I'll just visit my account, and I have multiple products and, um, and domain names, and I'll just uh, basically head down to manage. I'm managing my web hosting service, and that will enable me to access the cPanel admin. So I'm going to attach it to my URL being vetcdm and that can all be done in the dashboard or behind the scenes. Step two is to create a database and a username. So to do that I can go to MySQL databases, I'll click on this link and I'm going to start a new database and I'm going to call it vetcdm and create database. I'll go back and that will list my database vetcdm. But before I move on, I have to attach a username to this particular database. So if I scan down my SQL users, if you haven't already, you'll create a new username and take note of this because this will be important information further down the track when we install WordPress. But you'll create a username, a password, and then you'll create that user. I've already done that, so I'm going to attach the user to my newly created database vetcdm. So I'll add that. So I'll bring you to this um, section here where I'm going to give uh, this particular user all privileges to this database. Make changes and then we go back. So the next step is to download WordPress from wordpress.org and then we'll upload that to our site folders. So to do that we just go up to www.wordpress.org and we're going to click the button that says get WordPress and that will enable us to download the most recent version of WordPress. So if I click the download link, we will then create a WordPress zip folder and I, I have that contained inside one of my folders already. So the next step will be to bring that into our website folder and we'll open that up and then we'll initiate the installation process. So I'm going to head back to my cPanel MySQL database or um, uh, window and I'll head back home and I'll go to file manager and I'm going to go to public HTML and access my site or URLs um, site folder which is vetcdm.com if I select this there'll be no files there at the moment but what we can do is then upload select file and we will choose the WordPress uh, zip folder that we recently downloaded we'll click open and now we'll go back home and there's our zip folder that we've uploaded. Now we need to extract the contents of this uh, folder into this uh, destination. To do that we just go up to extract and you can quickly extract these files. What that will do however is it will install, uh, extract the files but it will place it in this folder that actually needs to be, all the contents from this folder actually needs to be moved back out here. And that can be easily done if we double click on this folder. I'm going to select this folder, scan down and hold down shift, select all the files and I'm going to select move and I'll move the contents to the vetcdm.com folder. So I'll just delete that and move files there. So if I go up one level, you'll now see all the files in the correct location. I can now delete this zip folder just to clean things up a little bit, confirm, and I don't need this folder as well so I can delete that, confirm. Okay, now with our database created, uploaded the zip folder and extracted the contents, we can now access the URL and start the initiation process or the installation process. So www.vetcdm.com And now we're in, uh, starting the installation process, so I'll select continue and it will give us some information and a few steps uh, that we will be taking and some information that needs to be provided. We'll select let's go. Now we have to refer back to um, the database name that we created in, uh, 
in the cPanel dashboard. In my case, it was called VetCDM. I also had a specific username that I attached it to and the password that I created for that username when it was created. So I can submit that, leave local host and the table prefix, hit submit, and we can then run the installation. So from here, we can give our uh, new site its very own title. So I can just call it VetCDM. Um, and this is going to be, we have to provide some information about the user name that we want to create. So as an administrator, I'm going to be uh, using the username admin. I'm going to create my own password. I'll just confirm that it is a weak password in this case, just for this example, and my email. And it's up to you if you want to discourage search engines from indexing this site. Once you inserted that information, you can then install WordPress. Now we can log in. And from here, we could just use the same username and uh, credentials as before. Log in. And this will bring us to our newly created uh, website and its dashboard. So from behind the scenes, you can, um, you can make some adjustments to your website. If we click on this link here and visit the site, here you can see the front end and now it's live, it's basically a live view of what the audience will see when they now access your URL. So this concludes the tutorial on how to install WordPress. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.